<laughs> so, so you know what? If they were to only look what they put under the rug and don't want to look at, you know, I want to talk to any of those people who are getting upset by that and ask them the question, tell me, what happened to you sexually between the years of 13 and until you got married? And now tell me the truth. And most of the time, they would also have to confess, I don't believe that they haven't masturbated and so on, but they haven't managed to do this in a way that would celebrate the gift that God gave them in the body. Now, if there is no outlet uh, that is a kosher outlet, then the question is, what do you do with that energy? And here is when I was saying, I wasn't saying masturbate every day, I was saying to that person, if you can manage, control it during the week, and then Shabbos comes, and on the Sabbath, celebrate your body and take your time. I'm not ashamed of saying that. It's their problem because the hypocrisy is so great. You know, I know that the more they will feel ouched by my statement, the deeper is the hypocrisy in which they try and bury their own attraction, repulsion to sexuality. <laughs>